Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the week 10 highlights of the Expert in a Year Challenge. Uh, I'm Ben Larkham and I've got Sam Priestley here with me to uh, chat through everything we've got up to this week. Hi guys, welcome. So this week we've got quite a bit of shadow play, we've got a lot more in the kitchen and we've got a, uh, a session with Sherwin who gave me a, a coaching trip. So here we're starting off with my backhand flick. Um, this is probably you know, maybe the, the third time I've done it. Uh, you see my wrist is flicking over quite a lot there. It doesn't look very good. I'm not really getting the power up behind the ball. It's kind of flicking out to the side. Mm. That's something I can really work on. Yeah, here we can see Ben and I sort of comparing what the flick looks like. You see when he does his, it's very much a forward movement and he follows through the arm. Whereas I've got this quite flappy wrist, which sort of doesn't, doesn't get the lift on the ball. It's not as nice a contact. This is the day after, this is the Tuesday, so we kind of spent two whole days working on the backhand wrist and flick technique in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think during this week my, my wrist technique really came for us. Up until now we've been doing a lot of keeping the wrist fixed. So here we can see my, um, this is the, just a top spin shot, just from the side. My elbow here is very rigid, but the sort of movement of the, the rest of the wrist looks okay. Yeah, as you can see, Ben is a lot more, sort of bring it back and then he's flicking through with quite a lot of um, acceleration. Whereas mine's more of a consistent back with a forward motion. So this, this is something that we've really worked on over this week and got a lot better at. That's sort of flicking the wrist back okay. and pushing it forward. Okay. This is from Wednesday okay. afternoon when we went to the gym. So here we had um, the idea of sort of combining shadow play with like a an irregular drill. So here we got Ben in the background saying what uh, what shot to do, and this is, this allows me just to not think about the ball too at all and just focus on my technique. So we're doing the sort of bunny hop movement, which we introduced first in week nine. Uh, it still needs a lot of work Middle. there, but you can see I'm Forehand. moving quite well. Middle. Here I'm able to think Forehand. about the shots. Backhand. This gets a lot better Middle. as the time Backhand. goes on. You can see like how difficult, really Backhand. pick up the problems Backhand. with my technique there. Here's a, some uh, irregular play, me just playing it into the backhand block. So this is getting a lot better. Oh, it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually getting to most balls now. Whereas a week or two before this, so I was missing most of them. Uh, it doesn't look very good. The techniques not very good. I'm not really getting any power, but at least I'm actually getting. Care about 20, 25 so here we are. This is before uh, technique was Um Ben forgot his bat, so we're playing with some old, dead, torn up bat we found at the centre. Which is kind of really only good for the sort of blocking. It's quite a good exercise. So this is um, Ben just sort of chopping it. So forcing me to do an open up. And in a second we're gonna see Ben just fishing it back and me smashing the ball. Very quite good exercise, stuff we can't do in the kitchen, so it was good to get out and actually have a bit more space. The main video was Sherwin, uh, we're gonna upload it at a later date. But that was a really good session, so that really we really focused on contact with the ball and getting a nice spin on it. So up until now, most of my shots are quite flat and I'm really hitting through. Whereas we've shown we've focused a lot on that sort of soft contact. So here are some of my mates watching football in the background while we're doing our session. This is the forehand counter. It's not really a forehand counter, it's, but it is up close to the table. And you can see my, I'm actually getting a lot better contact than normally. It's making a nicer sound on the ball, the movement's smooth on, and it's quite fast. That was the day after the session we showing, so we're quite keen to see Here we're back to some more backhand technique. My wrist is very stiff here. But apart from that, the, the contact's not that bad with the ball. I'm getting above it, getting a bit spin on it. It's not a counter, which is what we were going for, but that, that comes in. In the next few weeks. I'm just quite happy that your consistency was good. So I think week eight and week nine, you struggled to even keep running to the end of the back end. Mm -hmm. here, here we got a bit of a forehand flick, which I've done for the first time in the show in the day before. Um, this is a really bad video because I missed them all. We'll work on the sort of flick down and back up again to get a, a nice lift on the ball. Back with you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, 
I thought that was a pretty good week. We There's quite a lot of improvements. That's most of the shots done. That final one, the forehand uh, flick, is kind of the last one we've been learning. So from now on, we're going to work on a lot of consistency, a lot of getting, a lot of just getting better and getting more power and spin on the ball. All right, so thanks again. Head over to Expert in a Year to watch the other videos and look out for weeks 11 and 12 coming soon.